Hey guys, this is Purist, and welcome to God of War. Last time, holy crap, a lot of revelations. Part before, we found out that uh, Bowder uh, is a stranger. Bowder's Thor's brother. We talked to a guy in a tree. We cut off the head of that guy in the tree, brought it to the witch. Who was really the goddess Freya. As in Thor's wife. Wait. Is it Thor's wife or is it Odin's wife? I think it's Odin's wife. It's Odin's wife. I'm an idiot. I mean. Having mother as wife is kind of. Open par with this kind of god god's talk. But whatever. I don't think it's the case here. Anyway. Um. Yes, that's what's happened so far. Good. Let's, let's, um, resume, I guess, this weirdness. Alright. Fuck me. Wait. Okay, I just realized something. Didn't uh, Kratos say that the name... Oh no, wait. Did he say Freya or Faye? I think he said Faye. Maybe. Crap, now I'm second guessing myself. Is... Uh, no. Well, I suppose if no, <laughs> I was gonna say no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm very confused then. Very confused. New destination, go to the Serpent's Horn. Okay, back in the boat. So, Mimir, why did Freya spit in your face? No. No. Nope. Speak of Balder. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. <laughs> Can we get a refund if so? Mimir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Uh -huh. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Uh -huh. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, 
but her genius at the very Vanier magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. So I was right, he did um, marry um, Odin. She did marry Odin. Though not by f um, not by choice. There we go. Got the word for a second. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn. Oh yeah, the horn. Where it is. Oh, yeah. Up here. I was going to say, how do we get up there? There's a lift right here. Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing yeah. as the world suffered absolutely abhors that fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But fair enough. Doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Yeah, I know. Or they will, anyway. Yeah, well. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your knife. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You know, envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, ma ku no hun tun ku. Pain of your loss. He will help you. Furious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Oh, he's Making moving sure the bridge. We're in the right direction. Yeah. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. Okay. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Cool. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. All right. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Of course. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. Uh. Oh, forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Ah. Wait, look! The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. 
Oh, Where nice. is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. The new destination is complete. Oh. <laughs> Please excuse me for a little bit. I always get like fucking shivers and like shit. Whenever the Jotun. Jotun. He was just speaking. I just remember. Yo, Jor, Jorgen, wait. He was just speaking. How do I forget his fucking name? Uh, Jormungandr. That's it. I almost said Jotunheim. No, that's that's a world. That's a thing. Um, fuck. Now I've forgotten what I was gonna say. God damn it. Anyway. <sighs> I always get like um, shivers when I'm talking to that fucker. Nice things. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. Exploring. Whatever you want to do. Oh, go down here now. Just down here. Way to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Alright. Let's explore for a little while, though. Ooh. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him, but Thor's own mother was the giantess Bjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Bjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Uh -huh. well, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Hmm. Two strength. Strength permanently increased by two. Hell yeah. There's a massive pair of jakes here. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Oh, so Jotun. 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 Why don't we always summer over his name? Jormungandr. There we go. Fucking god damn it. Hell. Boss of crap. This place. We can beach over here. Oh no! Oh, there's another one over here. More strength. More strength. Give me more strength. Yay! Oh, luck! 
this one's luck. Franco. Wow, there's two of them, and they're huge. I wonder why they aren't moving. I'm guessing because of these, right? Uh. I don't know what's behind that gate. these. We never did open it. Should we give it a try? Say there's a place to land somewhere here. Oh, here we go. Just my shit. Thank you, boy. I couldn't fucking see. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I can shatter that chest by waiting for it to, um... Oh. then come on like thank you oh another spirit come and face me god of thunder i'm not really a god of thunder i'm a god of something though your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue hanging over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over the grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. First we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. I guess in this um, controls the gate. Ah, very smart. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south.
your skill continues to grow. This one, then. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Who's this? Another map. Great. Oh, there's a um, fast travel point. Cool. Sold this. I cannot rest while my mother's murderer stands above my father's grave. I get it. Golden Tasman of Protection activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also, as a passive effect, it increases timing on parrings and greatly increases defense while blocking. Well, I like this. Um, it gets rid of my um, little vitality I have. But do it. I'm going to activate it. Who needs vitality? That's for. Plebeians and losers.
that's a good um, place to stop. Did some story, did a little bit of exploring. All in all, good part. Uh, come back next week for more God of War. And tomorrow I... Ooh, wait, what was that for? Never mind. Um, yeah, come back uh, tomorrow for more... Um, the Outer Worlds. As a reminder, I... I stream uh, under the name Purist Plays, uh, well, whenever I can. Usually about twice per week, but sometimes I do more. But, yeah. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like my shit. And yeah, I've been Purist, signing off.